Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS which uh, will be very helpful for you to prepare yourself for MRCS exam. Uh, the question here, from which of these phenomena does the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve exit the skull? Here, the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve exit the skull and which of this foramen so we have to find out what is the foramen through which the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve exit the skull so here you can see the options the options are foramen ovale foramen rotundum foramen spinosum superior orbital fissure foramen magnum so we have to find out on of these five uh, options, which of the foramen through which the uh, ophthalmic branch of trigeminal nerve exit the skull. So here, first of all, we can see here this nerve. This is the trigeminal nerve. Uh, from here, three branches arises. First of all, this branch. This is ophthalmic. Second one, maxillary, and third one, mandibular nerve. We have to find out this ophthalmic branch. It passes which of the Foramen. Here we can see the ophthalmic uh, nerve. No, uh, it is supplying area. Uh, and here, here is the ophthalmic nerve. We can see here. Uh, it, this is trigeminal, and from the trigeminal, uh, three nerve arises: ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular. We can see mandibular and maxillary. They uh, also uh, exit the skull uh, through a definitive foramen. and uh, this ophthalmic mm, from here this is the ophthalmic branch and this ophthalmic branch uh, it exists a skull through this here here is a foramen through which it exits the skull so in this picture we can see the uh, different name of this structure first of all uh, this foramen this is superior orbital fissure behind them this is foramen rotundum and last one it, this is foramen ovale so three important foramen here superior orbital fissure foramen rotundum foramen ovale and last of here another foramen that is foramen spinosum and we saw that uh, from the trigeminal nerve the three branch arises first of all ophthalmic then maxillary then mandibular So here from the superior orbital fissure there is ophthalmic branch passes then from in rotundum it passes a maxillary artery and through the from in ovale mandibular branch of facial uh, mandible branch of trigeminal nerve so superior orbital fissure uh, this is the from in through which the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve passes and last we can see the another uh, from it this is foramen spinosum this is also very very important because uh, through the foramen spinosum one of the important structure medial meningeal artery passes uh, so here we can see this blue this is the superior orbital fissure if we see here superior orbital fissure and through the super, superior orbital fissure here the ophthalmic branch so ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve it passes through the superior orbital fissure this is structure superior orbital fissure and we saw that behind the superior orbital fissure the round foramen this is foramen rotundum foramen rotundum to the foramen rotundum maxillary nerve passes and behind the foramen uh, rotundum another oval shape foramen this is a uh, foramen ovale and mandibular nerve passes through this foramen ovale so uh, this three foramen this is very very important uh, for uh, mrcs exam the um, structure passes through this uh, foramen so here finally uh, our uh, final answer is superior orbital fissure through the superior orbital fissure of the skull uh, the ophthalmic branch of the facial nerve passes thank you all